As I always keep saying that quality is achieved by executing test cases, but we also know that there is a fact that testing does not wait for a code to be ready or test cases to be executed. Testing begins much earlier in a lifecycle model. And today we are going to understand the same thing in terms of differentiating between what is static testing and dynamic testing. friends and greetings for the day welcome back to another episode of testing in nutshell this is Nirish Kumar Singh and today we are talking about differentiating between static and dynamic testing generally the word testing can also be related to dynamic testing where dynamic testing means that when you execute the application or run the code to test it now that can be done with help of test cases or with help of automation testing tools test script so generally, when you have an application or piece of code with you, will be executed by one or the other medium. So generally we say that you execute the application or execute the code to validate it. And we call it as dynamic testing. And this will be evaluated with help of test cases or test script, where these test cases will be executed on the application to measure if the expected is equal to actual result or not. If they are same, we mark them as pass. If they are not, we mark them as fail and report a defect there. Now that's about the dynamic testing. But what happens when it comes to static testing? And what exactly static testing is all about? So generally, when you talk about static testing, we did learn about one of the principles that early testing is important. And a lot of people keep saying different organizations, different practices do say that testing can begin much earlier in a life cycle model. Now what is that and how early it can start is what we are understanding with the help of static testing. Now when it comes to static testing, it does not wait for actually anything to be created. Anything in terms of like, like program, code or implementation to happen, it's not dependent on that at all. So what is it? You generally have any kind of static material which you can call it as a documentation, work product of your process, or any such artifact which is either created during the process or being obtained during the process must also be verified or reviewed. Even a simple example of requirement which is being created can be considered for static testing. Static testing simply means that it is a process where the code or the review material or the work product artifact is non-executable. Now, non-executable does not mean that the code cannot be a part of it. Yes, it will be, but you will not be getting into the execution part of it. So that's, we generally call it as dry run, where you will be evaluating the code without running the code or executing the code. So you can have a walkthrough or dry run, scenario runs, and so, so on to evaluate the same thing. But what exactly static testing is, is to review the static components without executing it, or static documents without executing it, and look for defects at an early stage. And what's the benefit of it? Of course, when a requirement is created, and assume that we were testing that particular requirement and we got a defect. Now we report it to the development team, and development team says, is correct as per me so there's no defect as such now we went to the design team the architect said no this is fine as per my understanding so everything is okay now you went to the requirement team and the requirement team said no boss the design team misunderstood it the implementation team misunderstood it or they followed that particular design now of course we got a clarity on the defect but the cost of fixing the defect is very high the reason is now the requirement has to be revised design has to be reworked and implementation has to be redid and then this defect will be closed. So sometimes these root causes can help us to understand how expensive your defects can be if found later in the life cycle when compared to earlier. But as the root cause was requirement documentation, we could have reduced that defect or found that defect at that phase itself. Subjected, you were involved at that point of time to review and understand the requirement. And not alone you, you could have invited the developers, architects, everyone together to review the document and have a common understanding. 
Now that's how we understand that how early testing can actually begin and start contributing towards the quality that is by reviewing the first draft of the requirement so that the defects can be identified much earlier in the life cycle and it's cheaper to fix plus it improves or prevents a defect to be propagated into the upcoming cycles or stages. A quick summarization, static testing does not require any execution of the code under test, but dynamic testing, of course, you execute them and find the defects. Static testing can begin much earlier in the life cycle, right from the first draft is available. And dynamic testing requires the code to be developed so that it can be executed and evaluated. Static testing, the approach of executing that is called as uh, reviewing, whereas dynamic testing, the approach is called as levels of testing like unit integration system, etc. When it comes to static testing, we call this process as verification as well. And when it comes to dynamic testing, it is validation. But what is verification? What is validation? What are reviews? Don't worry about that. We'll be getting back to you with a different video on this. That's the name is testing in nutshell. So that's all from this particular episode team. I hope you have really enjoyed this and definitely learned something new today. We'll be getting back to you with more interesting similar videos. Stay tuned for that. And uh, if you have anything else beyond this, feel free to comment below. I'll be there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, and keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.